Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we are going to be listening to 20 Bucks Spin and Osmos Productions. The Ominous Circle. And this is appalling ascension. Holy fuck. This is probably the best death metal record I've heard since Blood Incantation Star Spawn on 20 Bucks Spin and Osmos Productions. Holy fuck. Fuck. As you can hear in the background, whoo -hoo, killer, just atmospheric, death metal with black metal, you know, kind of thrown in there at, at times. This is so goddamn good. Like I was saying, I haven't heard death metal this interesting since Blood Incantation Star Spawn. Holy fuck. And like I said, it's a double LP. I want to show you guys something cool since uh, the A um, side is playing right now. It's you know just your typical lyric and uh, insert, but here's the cool part of this album besides the color. On the inside, there's uh, the ominous circle symbol, as you can see, and it says blacker than the blackest black. Like on the inside, you can kind of see it, but super fucking killer album and uh comes on this really dope color i don't feel like taking it out because osmos productions and their wax paper really actually piss me off and i don't feel like dealing with it but yeah really sick color just wait for me to review this album but today we are going to be reviewing something that shouldn't work but it works um, uh, like, unbelievably, and that's going to be Dead in the Manger's debut EP, Transience, on 20 Bucks Spin Records. And this is the limited color reissue, and um, the only reason I picked this up was as soon as I saw this color, I was like, dude, like... Why get it on black when I could just spend like an extra two dollars and have this like limited coolest shit like one of the coolest color vinyls I have but all hope is meaningless in case you didn't know but this is seriously like some grinding depressive black metal and if that makes no sense to you it shouldn't but they fucking kill it like dead in the manger really really knew what sound they wanted to go for they took a risk and it paid the fuck off because this very very mysterious ep i can't tell you any band members names don't know any side projects i don't know shit about this band and no one else does either and that's awesome to keep your you know just <laughs> project and you know the fact that you're in it a secret from the metal community is not easy to do so for dead in the manger to do that and also you know have some of the most savage sounding grind with just this you know overwhelming sense of like depression when it comes to the black metal side of things along with just viciousness and you know sonic fucking hatred which you know this is a very good example of i mean for a band called dead in the manger which is one of the coolest fucking band names i've ever heard they really 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 hit the nail on the head with the hate driven fucking savage sneak peek into their ultra mysterious you know EP just soaked in bleak fucking vile until their full length came out um cessation I'm sorry if I said that wrong again on 20 bucks spin again just killer atmospheric black metal thrown into a vicious grindcore assault and fuck yeah this rules so much an awesome way to you know pretty much say hey we're here in the scene and we're here to fucking grind your face in 
or some just killer fucking black metal with grind elements and a lot of people who I uh you know I'll show bands like Revenge, Black Witchery, stuff like that too and they'll be like dude this sounds like you know grinding black metal and part of me you know I don't disagree because and you're gonna be like oh all right time to have a fucking argument now but no 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 uh, hear me out <coughs> excuse me the friends I'm talking about in general do not listen to black metal that much my one buddy is just finally kind of understanding atmosphere like you know sometimes when you hear like a riff that's kind of emotional like and you can relate it to something that's happened in your life and it makes the hairs on like your arms stand up to me that's when you're an actual black metal fan for the music not an image or any of that fucking bullshit like for real if you're gonna buy like a brand new shirt and unless you have like full sleeve tattoos like you know cut the sleeves off do whatever you want it's your shirt but don't just like buy a fucking shirt and cut the sleeves off for no reason i'm just throwing that out there because like it's fucking stupid like i don't have tattoos but i haven't been wearing sleeves on my shirts since like 2001 maybe earlier like it's just i never liked wearing sleeves like especially pennsylvania in the summertime it sucks out there i mean right now it's well, it's spring, but it feels like winter still. But anyways, this is just a fucking great 18 minutes of vicious grind with, you know, killer, atmospheric, depressive black metal. Like, it's awesome stuff here, and it's just 45 RPMs of Sonic Hatred, which seems to be an ongoing theme this week when it comes to the albums I've been reviewing. But this is really, really something special, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I just really, really wish, you know, there was a little more information about Dead in the Manger. I really wanna know who's behind this project. I'm sure somebody knows. Um, Wyatt, if you know, leave a comment if you watch this. I know you, you really like this band. And uh, you, you know more about me when it comes to, you know, this project in particular. And I really would like to know a little bit more because I really like the vicious onslaught that's on this record. And I just wish it was a little bit longer than 18 minutes. But hey, You Suffer by Napalm Death is like two seconds long. And it's one of, and The Kill as well, one of the best grind songs ever. And it's just two words on the kill and uh you suffer but why so yeah that's it <laughs> two of like the most infamous napalm death songs are under five words long lyrically where here i'm sure you know i haven't read the lyrics because it didn't come with a lyric sheet and i did not check it out online but I'm sure the lyrics are as nihilistic and hateful as this sounds because, yeah, from what I read, you know, reviews and stuff, it, it's pretty much like they had the same information I had that, you know, depending on your taste in music, this is either just straight, you know, you're gonna throw it in the trash or you're gonna fucking hold it close to your heart and listen to it a fuckload. I really like this release from Dead in the Manger and I feel like I'm gonna put it next to my blackened heart and continue to listen to this for hopefully a long time and hopefully they continue to make albums and whatnot because Cessation or whatever was amazing sounding as well. I need to pick that up. It happened to be sold out because I wanted to get both. But you've been listening to Appalling Ascension by The Ominous Circle. Again, I can't wait to go over this album. It's so fucking good on 20 bucks spin and Osmos Productions. So yeah, Dead in the Manger, Transients, 20 bucks spin, fuck yeah. I would give that probably an eight out of 10 just because it's a little bit too short, 
but it's grind, so it doesn't matter, but it's a dick tease. So that's the only reason I'm going to give it that number, just because you want more, and there's nothing wrong with that, because, hey, I would have more if they would have had what I wanted in stock, but it happens, that's life, and... Yeah, killer albums, and real quick, just in case, I don't know if somebody snagged this, I don't know what album this is or anything, um, but yeah, press pause, download it, enjoy it, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hails.